Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We're your hurricane headquarters and while the last couple of weeks has been relatively quiet in the tropics, it's starting to wake up from its slumber. In fact, we probably have a tropical depression on the way later on this afternoon, if not later on this morning. Uh, Western Caribbean here, so there's Tampa. Here's uh, the Yucatan Peninsula of uh, Mexico. And you'll notice if I zoom in here with Invest 91L, you'll see really in the last six hours, a noticeable improvement in that low level circulation of the cloud cover and the thunderstorms associated with this developing area of low pressure. Now, at last check, wind speeds are at 35 miles per hour. It's moving to the north northwest at nine miles per hour. We probably see this system organized pretty quickly over the next 24 to 36 hours. The latest forecast track would take it towards the Yucatan Peninsula, and it looks like it curves, or if it doesn't develop today, maybe develops over the Yucatan into the Bay of Campeche. 80% chance that it develops over the next day or two. Again, I think it's likely that we see that happen later on today. Forecast spaghetti models take it to the north and to the south central Gulf of Mexico before taking a hard left turn into the Bay of Campeche. Let me explain why the forecast models are buying into this idea. We've got this stalled out frontal boundary and that's helping aid the development of this area of low pressure. But as we get into Saturday into Sunday, high pressure begins to slide into the southeastern United States. That will help steer the system to the west initially. And then a stronger high pressure system dives down from Canada. And this really reinforces that westerly push with this system. Actually, it brings in some shear and probably limits a lot of its development into next week. So that's the main thinking right now. But if this doesn't materialize up here, we will have to watch this closely because it's that high pressure system that ships it west. Otherwise, it would go north and we'd have to watch it even closer. So stay tuned. But right now, not a concern for us.